Hi there. Now, as you know, there are multiple ways to trade the financial markets. You could be a long-term position trader, i.e. a swing trader, maybe looking at the weekly and the monthly chart. You could also be an intraday trader, where you're looking at maybe the four hour or the daily chart, looking to take maybe one or two trades a week. Then you could be a scalper. Now, a scalper looks to scalp out small profits multiple times a day. Now, today, I want to share with you my five minute scalping strategy, the one that I've been using successfully for the last few years or so. I'm going to show you the exact rules of entry, when to buy, when to sell, everything that you need to know clearly laid out for you. Now, make sure you stay tuned as well, because I'm also going to be sharing with you a unique opportunity where you can watch me trade live inside the trading room where I might be trading this very strategy in front of your very eyes. There's going to be no financial commitment on your behalf required whatsoever. Absolutely free. So please, now sit back, get yourself familiar with the strategy, take notes and enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to look at a five minute, easy to understand, simple to follow, high probability scalping strategy. Now, for those that don't understand what scalping is, basically means we're on the shorter time periods, we're looking to be in the market and out of the market very, very quickly, hoping to take 10, 15, 20 pips out of the market. Multiple opportunities throughout the trading day, as opposed to intraday trading, where you might be looking at the one hour chart or the four hour chart or, or the daily chart. So scalping looks at the shorter time periods and we look to get in and out several times a day. Tight take profit targets and tight stop loss targets. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to give you the outline of the strategy here on the whiteboard, but then we're going to go on to the charts and I'm going to show you uh, the setup, the confirmations and, the, uh, and everything that you need to know so you can go out and test this strategy and then start trading it with your real money should you wish to do so. Now, there's two possible ways you can exit. I'm going to show you both of those when we get onto the, white, uh, onto the screens as well in a moment. But this is the basic premise. Now, this is a trend following scalping strategy. That basically means we're going with the predominant trend. We're waiting for pullbacks and we're looking to get into the market on the shorter time periods as the market pulls back with the predominant trend as our direction. Now, as with any um, strategy that I trade, I always look for the higher time frame confirmation. In this example, if we're trading the five minute chart, we have our confirmation chart. I call it the anchor chart. Now, the anchor chart here on this five minute strategy is going to be the H1 chart, the hourly chart or the 60 minute chart. That determines which way we're going to be trading. Are we going to be buying or are we going to be selling? And I use two exponential moving averages to give me an indication of which way the market is going. I look at the eight exponential moving average and the 21 exponential moving average. If you don't understand what moving averages are, refer to my other video on that, which we've done uh, a while back. So we need to see the direction of these moving averages. Here you can see the eight moving average is below the 21 moving average. That means we're only interested in selling this market. If the eight moving average was above the 21, we'd only be interested in buying the market. Now we also need to see price above or below the moving averages. You might have the eight below, but the price up here because the moving averages do lag, they haven't actually um, crossed over yet. We need to see price the right side of the moving averages to, to confirm the direction of the trend um, and indeed what we're going to be looking for on the shorter time period. So here, we're only interested in sell opportunities. So we now drill down to our five minute chart. We've here, we've got the eight, the 13 and the 21 moving average. What we're looking for, we're looking to see these starting to change and fan out in a particular direction. They've got to be nicely fanned out. That is confirming now that we're looking to enter this trade, but we're waiting for a pullback. So you can see here, market has moved up, it started to fan out, they started to move back down, and market is trading back down. We're looking for a pullback, and specifically, we're looking for a pullback into the eight exponential moving average on the five minute chart. So for example, if this market here were to pull back and touch the eight moving average, this is now our trigger bar. Now, this is a still a valid trigger bar as long as price does not close above the 21 moving average. If it does, then the trade is null and void. All this will become a lot clearer, I'd say, when we get onto the uh, screens in a moment. Okay, so now we've got our trigger bar. So we've touched the eight moving average. This is our trigger bar. Okay, so now we're looking to enter 
if it pulls back down in the direction of the predominant trend. And what we do, we look back, we count back five candles and look for the, the lowest point of those five candles. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five. The lowest candle is here. We minus three pips and that is going to be our entry. Very simple to understand. So indeed, if the market does test and then re-challenge the direction or re-confirm the direction, we're going to enter our short trade at three pips lower than the lowest of the uh, five previous candles. Now, as when you enter any trade, you should always be looking at where you're going to exit the trade in case you're wrong, because of course we're wrong um, uh, uh, from time to time. So our stop is going to be three pips above the trigger bar, the high of the trigger bar. So the trigger bar high was here. So our stop will be three pips above. So it'd be plus three pips. Once you've established your initial uh, risk, we factor in our first take profit target. Our first take profit target is going to be one times risk. Okay, so one times risk will be our first take profit target. Once we exit our trade, 50%, we move the balance of the 50% to break even, and then we've just got 50% left in the market, going for TP2, which will be two times risk. And indeed, this market rolls back down. So TP2, your risk is obviously the difference between the entry price and the stop. So your TP1 would be down here and your TP2 would be down there somewhere. Now, there's two ways we're going to exit this strategy. I want you to go away and test both of them. I use both methods. Um, one method will be to exit in two defined points. The other exit strategy will be exiting the second chart, the second 50%, trading behind the lowest of the um, uh, previous three candles. And so this will become a lot clearer when we get onto the screens. So we'll go there now and I'll show you exactly how it all fits together. Okay, so here we are on the screens. I'm now going to show you the rules of engagement, how to enter a trade, the criteria we look for. We'll also show you a couple of ways that you can exit the trade as well. Now, as with any strategy that you wish to deploy in the market, I suggest you go away and do some backtesting. Backtest the strategy so you know how it performs so that you're going to be much more equipped to deal with some losing streaks as indeed any strategy will have a losing period. Right, let's get straight into it. So as I mentioned on the whiteboard, this is a trend following scalping strategy. So first off, we need to confirm the direction of the trend. We do that by looking at the higher time frame chart. So if we're trading off the five minute chart, we're going to look for the confirmation on the anchor chart, which in this case will be the one hour chart. We use two EMAs. One is the eight EMA and the other is the 21 EMA. Here you can see the eight EMA in red is pointing down and it is below the 21 EMA. That basically means we're looking for sell trades only. Now to the right of the screen, we are looking at the EMA is pointing up and it is above the 21 EMA. Price is above both EMAs, so we're looking for buy trades only. Now notice the difference on this anchor chart. Here you'll see that the price has moved above the moving averages. That basically means that there is no trade setting up here. Price has to be the right side of the moving averages in the direction of the trend. And here to the right of the screen, you'll see that the price has moved below the moving averages. That basically means there's no trade setting up here either. Price has to be the right side of the moving averages in the direction of the trend. So once we've confirmed the direction of the trend here on the one hour, we are looking for buy trades only. Price is nicely above the moving averages. We drill down to the five minute chart, the trading chart. We're looking to see the moving averages, the 8, the 13 and the 21 moving average all nicely fanning out in the direction of the higher time frame trend. Here you'll see the nicely fanning out to the upside. Price is moving up nicely as well. And prices move on. You'll see it comes back down, touches the 8 EMA. This is now our trigger bar. So what we're going to do now is count back five candles previous to the trigger bar and look for the local swing high. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. Clearly there is our highest high of those five candles. That is going to be our entry. So we're gonna place a buy stop, uh, three pips above this particular candle. Okay, and our stop is gonna be placed three pips below the low of the trigger bar. So now that we've established our initial risk, 
we can put in our first take profit target, which will be one times the risk. And we'll see markets move up. And as luck would have it, it has hit our entry. So we are now long this trade and up it goes to our first profit target where we exit 50% of the trade and we move the balance to break even. Then we can put in our second profit target, which will be two times the initial risk, which would be up there. And sure enough, prices move up to hit take profit target two. This is a buy trade. OK, so here we are now looking at a potential sell trade. Exactly the same as a buy trade, but just in reverse. Going to the anchor chart here, the one hour chart, you'll see that the price is nicely below the eight and the 21 moving average. The eight moving average is below the 21 and price is below both, meaning we're looking for sell trades only. Then we drill down to the five minute chart. We're seeing the eight, the 13 and the 21 moving averages. They're nicely fanned out now, fanned out in the direction of the predominant trend on the anchor chart. We're looking for sell trades, looking for a pullback into the eight moving average. And sure enough, there's a pullback into the eight moving average. This is now our trigger bar. So we need to count back the previous five candles to look for the previous or the lowest low of the previous five candles. One, two, three, four, five. The lowest low is there. So three pips below the lowest low is where we'd have our sell stop. Once we've established where we're going to be exiting the trade, we know where we're going to be placing our stop. Our stop is going to be placed three pips above the trigger bar. So here is our initial risk. Once you have your initial risk, then of course you can set your first take profit target, which will be one times risk, which will be down there. And indeed price moves down, takes out the first take profit target. We exit half the position and move the balance of the trade to break even. Then we can put in our take profit target two, which will be two times risk. And that will go in down there. And sure enough, because it's a presentation, we go down and take out the take profit target too. Now clearly, these examples worked because it is a presentation. Naturally, once you've done your back testing, you'll have more confidence to take this into the live market with your real money. So with this method, we've exited the trade in two parts, two defined exits. Another way that I encourage you to uh, consider trading this strategy with is using a trail. Now a trail basically means you're trailing behind price. That basically will allow you to keep in the trade for much longer if the trend does indeed develop into a much stronger move. So we exit the trade in two parts. The same, we exit the 50% at TP1 and then we exit the second 50% with a trail. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so here we have a price that is moving up. And let's assume that our first take profit target was here. And that's where we exit the first 50% and our stop was at break even. So our stops now at break even, we're in a risk free trade. We've got 50% of the trade still in the market. Market then moves up. Now we're gonna be trailing behind the low of the previous three candles, the lowest low of the previous three candles. So you can see as price moves up, we count back three candles, one, two, three, and the stop moves up below that candle, minus three pips. And again, moving up again, one, two, three, that's where we go, and up it goes again, one, two, three. So the stop is trading behind the third candle low. And if the market does indeed want to break into a strong trend, then we're gonna be in that trade for longer. One, two, three, and up again. One, two, three, and finally pulls back down and takes out the stop where we exit the second half of the trade, the second 50%, and we've kept in the trade far longer, taking much more out of the market, trailing behind the third candle, the third candle low in the case of a buy, and of course the complete reverse. If you were selling, it would be trailing behind the third candle high with that buffer of three pips. Okay, so I hope you found that useful and easy enough to understand. I encourage you now to go and do some back testing so that you'll feel comfortable taking this strategy into the live environment with your hard earned cash. If you want to learn more about this scalping strategy, other scalping strategies or other strategies in general, please click the link below. Now, before I go, I just want to let you into a little secret. 
some of you will know that next Friday is non-farm payroll. Now, for those that don't know what that is, it's basically the biggest economic data release of the month. It represents the job growth in America and has the potential to move the markets for us to capitalize on. Now, for this month and for the first time ever, we're granting everyone access to the trading room at forexsignals.com just for registering to the site. So no payment details required whatsoever. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we want to show you a real-time live event and for you to experience the community here at forexsignals.com. So as I said, you've got nothing to do apart from registering at forexsignals.com. And we'll email you a link just ahead of the Friday event before we go live. So keep an eye on your inbox. Until then, happy trading and good luck.